This is a second thought video made possible by Skillshare, home to over 17,000 classes that could help you learn a new life skill. Be one of the first thousand people to sign up using the link below and get your first two months for just 99 cents. The universe is unbelievably massive. Some predictions put its scale somewhere around 90 billion light years across, provided expansion has been happening at a fairly constant rate. Hidden among this vast expanse of superclusters, black holes, dark matter, and other such sciencey things lies a tiny pale blue dot called Earth. Earth is home to every organism of every species that has ever lived, though oftentimes a few brave humans spend some time aboard the International Space Station which orbits around the planet. Since our last trip to the moon, we humans have stuck pretty close to the Earth, never venturing very far from home due to both budgetary restraints and safety concerns. But most of us have wondered at some point or another, how long until we really start to explore the universe? When will we leave the solar system for the first time? In a past video, we looked at how far humanity has reached into the depths of space. The long-standing record for the farthest humans have physically traveled is held by the crew of the Apollo 13 mission, which traveled around the far side of the moon, a distance of 400,171 kilometers. That seems pretty far from an Earthling's perspective, but when you're dealing with interstellar distances, it's just a tiny fraction of how far we'll need to go just to reach the nearest star. Our sun's closest neighbor, Proxima Centauri, sits about 4.25 light years away. That doesn't sound too bad, right? But when you consider what a light year actually is, the distance light travels in one year, you realize just how massive a distance it really is. The speed of light is about 300,000 kilometers per second, which means light can travel approximately 10 trillion kilometers per year. So four and a quarter light years is equivalent to over 40 trillion kilometers. Seems like more of a trip now, doesn't it? With our current technology, it would take the very fastest spacecraft ever created, the Helios 2 traveling over 240,000 kilometers per hour, over 19,000 years to get to Proxima Centauri. And that's with an unmanned craft. The greatest speed achieved by a manned vessel was during the Apollo 10 mission, with a top speed of just 40,000 kilometers per hour, six times slower than the Helios, meaning it would take over 114,000 years just to make it to our nearest neighbor star. And once you got to Proxima Centauri, you'd still have about 25,000 light years to go to reach the nearest galaxy to ours, the Canis Major Dwarf Galaxy. If you wanted to reach the nearest large galaxy, Andromeda, you'd have to travel 2.9 million light years to get there. It would take billions of years with today's technology just to reach the outer edge of Andromeda. But what about future technology? Science fiction has made us hope for the day that warp drives become a reality, allowing space travelers to bend space and time to arrive at distant locations at faster than the speed of light. The hypothetical Alcubierre drive, a propulsion method that would contract space in front of the vessel and expand space behind it, could in theory achieve faster than light travel, but it's currently uncertain whether such a drive could even be constructed, so faster than light travel is off the table for the time being. The upcoming Breakthrough Starshot mission will use ground-based light beams to propel tiny nanocraft to speeds of up to 100 million miles per hour, which would make a trip to Alpha Centauri a much more reasonable 20 years. But obviously these tiny ships are much too small for human passengers, so for the moment we're stuck with our painfully slow rocket technology. Unless we have some major breakthrough in propulsion technology, it just won't be feasible to launch a mission to another galaxy. If we were to launch an Andromeda mission at some point in the future when we had achieved, say, 50% of light speed capabilities, we'd still have to create a ship that could support thousands of generations of humans who would be born, live, and die on the long voyage. And who's to say that their vessel wouldn't be passed by a craft invented even further in the future that can travel faster? Even traveling at the speed of light, it would take over two and a half million years to reach Andromeda. Is such a breakthrough likely in the near future? Probably not, but then again, if you could go back in time and tell someone from a couple hundred years ago that we would successfully land men on the moon, they'd have called you crazy. And our rate of technological advancement is only increasing. Who knows what the future will hold? Maybe we'll discover some amazing new technology that allows humans to truly set their sights on distant galaxies. Or maybe we're destined to be contained to the Milky Way. What do you think? Do we have a bright future spanning many galaxies, or are we trapped in our little cosmic fishbowl? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. If you do decide to take a several million year voyage beyond the Milky Way, why not kill some time by learning an awesome new skill with Skillshare? Skillshare is an online learning community for creators, featuring over 17,000 classes in graphic design, animation, photography, and more that could help you learn a new life skill, or even start a YouTube channel like I did. 
a premium membership from Skillshare is more affordable than most other online learning platforms and gives you unlimited access to amazing classes from experts working in their fields so you can improve your skills, unlock new opportunities, and do the work you love. As a special offer for fans of Second Thought, you can get your first two months for just 99 cents when you sign up using the link below. To support the channel and start learning amazing new skills, make sure to check out Skillshare today. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe and click the little bell to be notified every time a new Second Thought video is released. While you're here, check out these playlists full of other great content. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week.